Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Hello. Hi, everyone. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. Hello. Hi, afternoon. Good mama. Hello. It's so nice to see you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Today's cozy little stream. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. And thank you for the stream strings. Um, Snake and um, Sai, thank you. Guessing as well. And Earth, um, Earth, um, wait. No, Snake Eating Mouse. Thank you for the 20 months. Sitting at the whole. I was like, Earth Eating Mouse? That doesn't sound right. <laughs> By the way, everyone, I'm um, a little, a little like, kind of like sleepy today. I hope you guys don't mind. I guess that's not a. I had a rough night. It was just more like, I'm not sure. It's one of those days. It's overcast. It's like sprinkling. <laughs> it's a very cozy day today. So I'm in a cozy mood, you know? Thank you for the boop. The earth cow is on the mind. That too. Yeah, that too. I'm working on that as well. Did you not sleep well? I think I'm... No, I slept really nice, actually. I just think that I have been going to bed really late. And therefore, I haven't been getting the usual amount of sleep that I'm used to. Like, I went to bed pretty late last night as well. And this, this night, I, this tonight, I can't go to sleep late. Because I have to wake up really early tomorrow, like around probably like 6 a.m. I have to wake up maybe 5.30 a.m. Because um, I need to be ready and at the airport at a certain amount, at a certain time. You know? So, hey. The, I don't miss my flight, well. Yeah, because I'm going on my mini vacation tomorrow. I'm going to miss you guys so much, but I promise I'll have lots of fun and lots of rest and relaxation. And I'm going to make, um, I'll take some videos as well. So then I can upload them when I come back. It'll be really nice. We'll do some, I might do, um, might be doing like a couple of cafes and like reviewing the food. I hope you guys would like it. No, no live streams though. <laughs> I don't have that kind of setup. I'm like, you leaving forever? No, don't be silly. I'll only be gone until like Tuesday. On Tuesday, I'll be coming back officially. I come back on Monday, but um, Tuesday I'll start streaming again and tell you about all my adventures. We will be waiting. Thank you. I appreciate it, Mom. Tuesday's like a year away. No, it's not. <laughs> Stop being so cute. No, it's not, Orange. It's only a couple of days away. Okay, that's not too long. Yeah, it's not long. It's a mini vacation. So I call it a mini vacation. Because my actual vacation vacation will be sometime um in June. Early June. Will you get us a souvenir? Yeah, I will, of course. <laughs> I'm excited to go to the very first Starbucks over there in Seattle, Washington. They made the very, very, very first Starbucks. So I cannot wait to go there. I'm really excited. I have no idea what it looks like, but I haven't Googled it or anything like that. I wanted to be surprised. <laughs> I'm already having Milky withdrawals. Top Shrimper! There, there. It'll be all right. I promise. I'll be back as soon as possible. Hey, mommies need their rest too, you know? And the vacations, it's actually really going to be very cold over there, just so you know. So my sweater dresses that I love to wear are going to be perfect. It's quite cold over there right now. Um, I think it's like about less than 60 uh, degrees or something like that in the daytime. It's really, really cold. But I'll stay nice and bundled up. Don't worry, I'm gonna bring um scarves. I might even buy a scarf over there as a souvenir <laughs> of my trip over there. But I'm gonna make sure to stay bundled up and warm. Very perfect, comfy weather. Yeah, it's also gonna be raining apparently too over there. There's gonna be a lot of rain, um, a lot of showers. So hopefully they won't be too like heavy. 
and just like light showers because I do love light showers. It's really nice. An astro scarf. <laughs> I wish. Maybe one day we'll get that done. Um, how's the cow doing? I'm doing really well. Thank you for asking. I am doing really, really well. How are you guys doing? How are you guys doing? I hope you had a wonderful Wednesday. I miss you so much. One from one as one suntan say sun shaped marshmallow can. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna miss you guys so much. Oh, I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you so much. But like, you know, it'll be okay. It'll be alright. I'm not going anywhere. I'll come back. <laughs> I'm just going for a little bit, a little adventure, a little vacation. Oh, good. Just woke up from a nap. Oh, I totally feel you. I totally feel you. I tried to get up early today, but I couldn't. Oh, I couldn't. I was like all cozy in my bed and just like, I'm gonna stay in my bed. Kitsune Yokage, arigato. Thank you for the eight months. Arigato. Thank you. Almost a year. Yeah. You're almost there. Oh my god, I'm excited. Cow Adventures. Yeah. It'll be fun, I promise. I will have a lot of fun. And I'll make sure to uh, make some special, like, uh, YouTube videos for... You know, some special travel videos so that you guys can always, um, you know, tune in to. She's not leaving to get milk, she's leaving with the milk. <laughs> I'll make lots of milk that you can have during the weekend. It's okay. Happy Thursday to you. Thank you, honey. Happy Thursday to you as well. How have I been? I've been very, very good. How are you? Oh my god, I don't have the- I don't have milk for the cereal. It's okay, I can- I can cover it. I can cover it. Don't worry. I can- I can get you the milk you need for your cereal. Don't you worry. <laughs> After Monday, I won't be here for a while because I watched your streams on, on my school computer. And they're going to take up my computer. Oh, they're, wait, they're going to take your computer on Monday? How dare they? It's okay, don't worry. It's okay, honey. I appreciate it. You guys are this early. No, no wonder I miss these streams. How's everyone's morning? Hi! Hello, add more. Yeah, we stream, we stream very early here. Cozy mornings together, cozy mornings together. Although for some people it might be not morning, it might be more like evening. But it's also a really nice time to be really cozy, you know. <laughs> Look, you're so beautiful and gorgeous. Ah, thank you. Sana. Arigato. Raika! Raika! Arigato! Thank you for the prime! Thank you so much! It's 2pm, but it's still a good um, time for stream. <laughs> okay, honey. What is your favorite anime to watch of all time? I love Cardcaptor Sakura! Find my favorite, I think so. I think so, um... Yeah, I also really like Tokyo Mew Mew too. Tokyo Mew Mew is really cute. I love Maho Shoujo. Princess Tutu is really good too. I love Maho Shoujo so much. When you do for your mini vacation? That's kind of what I'm thinking about doing. That's why I want to watch some travel videos. Maybe some based on Washington DC. Apparently my, my girly friends don't really know what to do either. Since we're not really going there for vacation as much as like I'm, I was um, planning to help her with her table, you know, um, for the convention. But it turns out that she's kind of panicking because they didn't let her know she needed that she needed a seller's permit or seller seller's license. So she's kind of freaking out. 
<laughs> I'm like, oh my god, you should have figured this out way ahead of time. But to be honest, I, would have, I probably would have done the same thing. <laughs> Oh my god. So yeah, so I'm trying to see if she can, you know, call them and figure that out or I don't know what's going on. Apparently, apparently like uh, the state of Washington like called her saying, hey, if you plan to vent here, you need you need a seller's permit. And I'm like, yo, they, they actually called you and they told you that? That's kind of serious. Like, first of all, they're like aware you don't have one. But second of all, that's pretty serious. Yeah. If you build a cottage in the woods and it was best designed and it was Bazain by goblins, how many astros do you think it would take to take out one goblin? About 10 astros on top of him, punching him. Yeah. Don't worry, we have enough. We have enough. <laughs> Has she got it sorted out? No. I'm, I think, I think, um, I really think that it's too last minute. It, it turns out, um, you need to get like your, like, seller's permit, like, shipped to you. So, like, um, oh, yikes. I'm like, uh oh, spaghetti -o. And she's like, well, why didn't they tell me this? She's like, the convention didn't tell me anything. And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> I feel bad for her. I'm mostly going because she needs them. Um, uh, it's me and four other girls, and we're all going, and two of them are vending. And the, the other two, uh, my other friend, uh, me and her are going to be like her, the helpers, you know? And we're going to switch out. But the thing is that they didn't know they needed a seller's permit. And she's like, the convention didn't tell us anything. And I, I had her send me uh, the vendor's manual. <laughs> And it says right there, it says, um, you do not, you do not, re you do not need or require to show us your seller's permit, but you do need to have one. And so, like, I don't know what, what they're going to do, to be honest, because it's much too late. They can't, they're, they're, it's impossible. We, we fly out tomorrow. They can't get a seller's permit just, like, shipped to them that fast. So, I think what they said is that they plan to still vend anyway, but save the 10% and send it to the government later on. Because that's the reason they want you to have a seller's permit, because they want, like, a, a 10 percentage, like, in taxes, sent to the, the government. Like, the uh, state, you know, the state itself. But, like, to be honest, like, I never even knew that. Like, I've never been in my life in a convention, but even I didn't know that. So, I hope that they're still able to do that, because I feel like that was, like, you know, the number one reason why they wanted to come to Seattle. Because Seattle has Atomy Impulse, um, which is, like, a convention that's usually held over here. But for some reason, they're holding it over there this year. So, I hope that they're still able to bend, to be honest. They're really looking forward to it. They're still going to bring their merch and everything. Basically, they're like artists, basically. You know the artist alley in the convention? You know how there's like lots of artists that bring in, they make keychains or like badges or like prints. And then they, and then they, um, you know, they travel like from one state to another or from one, another country to another too. Like Anime Expo in LA, many people come from other countries to vend. So it's like that. They're both artists and stuff like that. Um, one and one does um one does like clothing clothing really really intricate clothing for like hey ooh, for like plushies or like dolls or like um you know like if you have a little stuffed bear you, you'll definitely be able to get a dress that fits it <laughs> so she's very talented and I'm very sad that that uh, I really hope they're still able to bend I really hope so I love to visit the alley alley, the, the artist alley when I go to Collins. Me too. I love it. It's like my number one thing I love. I love, 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 love the artist alley. It's my favorite. Even more than the, you know, the vendor's hall, which is the vendor's hall is like for big, big, big sellers, you know, like, like they're not artists. They're like, hmm? hey, I was talking. They're like, um, like, um, like, like Gigi Sops, like Gigi Sops would be in the vendor's hall because the, it's like big, big company kind of, um, you know, you might also find like, um, like a, you know, like a little, a little, like, um, selling company that sells like, um, anime hoodies and stuff like that. 
that's the vendor's hall. And then the artist alley is completely different, but I love the artist alley so much. I buy so much. <laughs> oh, no, 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 not all the time. Not all the time. Okay. I go a little crazy. You know, I'm a little crazy, a little crazy sometimes. Um, but uh, I will try not to be this time, okay? <laughs> I will try not to mind too much, okay? <laughs> It's just like I often, back then, I used to buy like a lot of pins and a lot of keychains of like my favorite characters. But now, now I will only get one if it's like a artist I really love. I might get Prince though. Prince I might get. I love Prince. I really, really love them. I love them. They're so cool. There's so many amazing artists that have like, oh, and they're like sometimes super like affordable too. Ah, uh, usually I wait for the last day. The last day will give you special deals. It gets special deals on like merch, you know, like um, in the artist alley, uh, specifically in the artist alley because um, the artists want to get rid of like you know their merch. They want they want to sell out, so they'll put discounts and stuff like that. But um. To be honest, listening to this at the gym is the best thing to listen to while working out. Thank you! Arigato! Gammate, gammate! You can do this, okay? Get those gains! I'm so proud of you. Yeah, so I'm really excited. That, um, it's been a while since um, I traveled in the States and not international. The last time I traveled in the States was... Maybe about 12 years ago. Damn, has it been that long? It's been that long. Jeez, can you believe that, guys? <laughs> it's been 12, like about 12 years since the last time I traveled in the States. Internationally, um, no, but in the States specifically. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Actually, no, never mind, never mind. I did go to Florida because you have to stop at Florida before entering um, Santo Domingo. Um, but, but, you know, I don't count it because I didn't actually get to travel or visit like Florida. I just stopped there, you know? So I don't count it. I don't count it, arranged. But yeah, the last official time I traveled in the States was about 12 years ago, yeah. It was 12 years ago and it was it wasn't for fun. It wasn't for fun. It was for a very, 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 very hard and sad time for me, you know? When um someone <laughs> someone close to you um goes to the stars, you know? So it wasn't for I wasn't really happy travel, so I'm kinda kinda shocked it's been so long, man. It's nice that I'm going. I'm I'm going. I'm, it's really nice. It's been such a long time since I've traveled in the states. I'm really excited. I'm happy. I'm going with all girls too. All girls. No boys allowed. Sorry. <laughs> but you guys will. You guys will be with me in my heart, and in your cute little astral form that I carry with me all the time, and I sleep with. Okay. Astro Blushy, yeah! <sighs> you forgot the Vegas trip. Oh, but yeah, but I didn't fly for that. I didn't, I didn't, I mean, I traveled, but I didn't fly. I traveled, but it was in the car. Oh, I love that. That was such a, that was so fun. Also, isn't Vegas in California? <laughs> isn't Vegas in California? As far as I know, it is, right? Is it? It's in California. No, it's in Nevada. What the fuck? <laughs> what is Nevada? <laughs> Whoa, we Nevada's a state. I thought Nevada was part of California. <laughs> we ne ne Nevada. Oh, is the state? You're right. It is the state next to California? <laughs> Oh, oh, I see. Las Vegas is like literally at the point. It's literally like at the border from California to um, Nevada. I sure I sure completely missed the sign that said, um, welcome to Nevada. <laughs> so I fell asleep a lot because I was the only one without a driver's license. So um, I was uh, I was the passenger princess with the girlies. <laughs> I was the passenger princess. 
And they even said, they're like, oh my God, Milky, like, when do you get a driver's license? <laughs> and I'm like, girls, like, you don't want me, you don't want me behind the wheel, man. You don't want me behind the wheel. I might fall asleep. <laughs> and they're like, you know, right? You know, she always sleeps, you know, we probably shouldn't have her behind the wheel. Oh my God, you're such a passenger princess. You're lucky you're our bestie. <laughs> Oh my god, I love my friends. <laughs> They're so sweet to me. They put up with so much. <laughs> count the road, yeah, count the road. Mm, the the cat like personality inside of me comes out very much. I and the the problem is that the car the car lulls me to sleep. I'm sorry. I don't know why. I I kind of researched it over time. Why I always fall asleep when I'm like a passenger. I always get super cozy. Apparently they say that they say that sometimes the car like can often like replicate like the feeling of being inside your mother's womb or something like that. And I was like, that's kind of interesting. I don't know if it's that, but I I don't think I'm supposed to be behind the wheel. Like I don't think I was meant to be I don't think I was built to be behind the wheel. Um, I'm not saying I will never get a driver's license. I will get one. I will I will get one, okay? I will. Probably will just never take the freeway though. I agree, it makes me sleep. I'm too scared to drive. Um it's okay. I I, I too feel the same way. I too feel the same way. But you know what? We can do it. You just play metal. You play metal and you play like all the classic rocks in the background. No lo-fi and no no super chill music. I, I can't listen to my favorite music, which is like bedroom pop. I know it sounds naughty, but it's not. But yeah, bedroom pop is like my favorite that I usually listen to. I cannot listen to that. <laughs> I cannot listen to that. I better start building my my Spotify playlist for and and title it. Stay awake. <laughs> Stay awake music. <laughs> Anyone have any good recommendations or like like good metal bands? I will take I will take a notes right now. <laughs> I'll take notes right now. A stay awake music. <laughs> Sabaton, are you Sabaton? Lambs, lambs of God, lambs of God. I love lamb. Cow flick? Is that really a? Is that really one? Dragon forest? Metallica? Metallica's given. Metallica. The entire Doom soundtrack. The uh, the entire Doom soundtrack. That's a good one, actually. You're right. There's a lot of. Oh, Slipknot! I love Slipknot. Power Wolf. What the heck is that? I'm gonna look at Mastodon. Okay, what about what about metal metal songs with with a female like lead singer? You know, female lead singer. Isn't baby baby metal? I don't think it is baby metal with the with a guy. Yeah, I, I know. Yeah, I know what that is. Baby metal, alright. Baby metal. I love baby metals. I I I just put it on here. Kitty is a good band. Kitty! I don't remember anything called Kitty. Oh. <laughs> I thought Cow Flick was a freaking bad. I'm like, who would have called her? You know, it's not it's not a bad it's not a bad It's not a bad um um you know time, I guess. <laughs> What's wood scream? Hmm, honestly, you saw Dragon Force live in LA last year. W was it good? Did you like it? Spirit box. I feel like some people are just saying words. Arch enemy. Okay, arch enemy. Synthwave. Synthwave. I think Synthwave will make me go to sleep. Ow. <laughs> You're always hitting me. Cow abuse. This is cow abuse. Hail, hailstorm, hailstorm, hailstorm. Okay, okay, there we go. Hey, hey, I'm typing. Okay, okay, all right, all right. 
there we go. We have all metal recommendations here. I will, I will, I will visit this later. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to start building. I'm going to start building my, um, my stay awake playlist. <laughs> Because I do need it, I do need it, and I will throw, I will throw in um rock music in there too, and classics as well. Oh my god, but yeah, so pretty much my, um, so Vegas was like kind of like it was a trip. You're right, it was a trip in the states. You're right, not flying, but it was okay. Then it wasn't more. It wasn't more than twelve years ago. I guess it's been 12 years ago since I've flown, you know, to another state, I guess, instead of driving. To be honest, Washington, um, I, I, I guess I thought Washington we could drive to, so I asked them and they're like, hello, Milky? There's literally like a state above us, you know, and I'm like, wait, a state between California and Washington? And they're like, oh my god, <laughs> stop watching so much anime. <laughs> Oh my god. And then like, oh snap, there is Wyoming. <laughs> Wyoming! Everyone forgets about Wyoming though. <laughs> it's Wyoming, right? Wyoming. My homie. <laughs> Wait, like what does Wyoming have? What is in Wy Wyoming? Oh, big rock. <laughs> I look up, I look up, I look up, I look up literally like what's in Wyoming. And then I see a picture of the Devil's Tower and I say, oh, big rock. <laughs> oh my God, it's pretty. Wow, Wyoming is really pretty. Oh my God, it's so pretty and so nature in the mountains. Jackson's Hole. That's a very interesting name for a city. I mean, a village. I want to go to Wyoming. There's, there's my, 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 my distant cousin, the buffalo. Wow, Wyoming is actually pretty pretty. So it's more like a nature place. It's very nature. -y. Wow, that's pretty. In my mind, whenever um, I think of, um, whenever I think of like, um, how do I say? Like a peaceful imagery in my mind that brings me peace. It's always like, um, the image is always like beautiful blue sky, um, mountains in the background that have snow on them, snow top mountains, a beautiful forest, and then like a pristine lake where the like mountains are reflected on. That's whenever, so whenever they say like, you know, um, think of something that brings you peace. That's what I think of. I think of a Bob Ross painting. <laughs> and then I, and then I hear Bob Ross's voice in, in my freaking head saying, saying like things like, and right here, just paint your little mountain wherever you want your little mountain. It, uh, it could be wherever you imagine it to me. Just paint it just the way you want it right here. Right here. Just like that. And you see, your mountain can be any shape it wants to be. However you visualize it to me. Maybe we'll have a little bit of snow here. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's what I think about when I'm achieving um tr I'm, I'm achieving peace. Dude, Bob Ross is the OG ASMR artist. He is. You hitting children on the back of the head into the ground does it bring you peace? No. What the hell? <laughs> no, but I can, I can imagine it brings some some people peace. <laughs> um, me instead instead I rather I rather I rather um I rather shame them entirely and beat them at a game. That's better. That's better. That's how you truly bully the kids. That's how you bully them. Yeah, Bob Ross is cool. I love. I literally have a channel that I that I have favorite in that is just Bob Ross's freaking like painting, and that's what it is. Twenty four seven, every single day, it's just Bob Ross, Bob Ross's painting. That's it. It's so nice. It's so nice. 
<laughs> it's really nice to just like chill to, you know, like sometimes I'll just have it in the background um, and draw or read or um, do some like um, artistic kind of like creativity, creative, creative hobby. It's very relaxing to walk. Yeah, to watch you right, dude. That guy was born with like such amazing voice. I still don't really know the story of like how he got picked up and stuff like that. Um, but I did see at some point there was a Bob Ross that didn't have a fro, and I was like, who the hell is this? And apparently it's Bob Ross when he was younger, and I was like, what the hell? There was a time where he didn't have a fro. <laughs> Apparently there was a time where he didn't have a fro. Yeah, let me see. Bob Ross Younger. Yeah, 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 see? There was a time when... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Or was that someone else? I can't tell. Was that... No, no, no. Maybe that was someone else. Maybe that was someone else. Oh, that, I think that was Bob Ross's son. Oh, that, is that who it was? Jeez, there was someone on, on there that was like... I think it was his son. Yeah, I think that was his son. Oh, his son, Steve. Oh, there we go. I relax to calm video game music. That's really nice, too. I love to relax to that. Yeah, it was Bob Ross's son. I was like, is this Bob Ross without a fro? <laughs> it's hard to see him without one. So it was his son, Steve. Oh, wow, Steve paints really nice, too. It's like, it just runs in the family. Honestly, guys, we need to do a Bob Ross painting stream. Um, I think it'd be really, really nice, too. But the thing is that, um, I will have to get a little canvas, like a, or a somewhat decent sized canvas. It'd be really nice to do one, though. I gotta pick a- I gotta look up some videos, um, and see which ones are, like, more simpler to do and not too complex, but I, it would be amazing. Of course he had a son! Yeah, and Steve actually really has a really nice relaxing voice, too, surprisingly. And it runs in the family. <laughs> he passed it on to his son, that's really nice. A Bob Ross hand cam stream, yeah! It'll be really fun. I, th I think it'll be really, really fun to do. What type of painting would you like to do? Definitely one with mountains. Um, possibly a forest too, but ideally a mountains and like a lake is what I'd like to do. Yeah, it'll be fun to try. I haven't really ever done like painting like, you know, like that before. I also want to do watercolors too. Watercolors is really fun. I think I remember you once had a VR painting game. Yeah, I do still have that game. It's really fun. We should do another uh, another stream of the VR painting game. What's your favorite video game to play? Um, I don't really have one at the moment, but I think Stardew Valley is pretty fun to play. I still can't imagine him yelling at people for drills. Yeah, I saw, I saw a bit. Uh, oh, is that, he was a sergeant? Was he really? I saw a picture of him with like a hat. He was a sergeant. It says before becoming famous for the joy of painting, Bob Ross was a master sergeant in the USA Air Force. After he quit, he vowed never to scream again. Oh my God. That's really hard to imagine him being like him yelling at people. That's crazy. Apparently he vowed never to scream again. So he, he ended up choosing something that's more more relaxing. That's really admirable. I think that's really, really admirable. It's really admirable, actually. That's crazy. I never knew that about him. I think there's like um um a documentary about his life too. Which one time I wanted to see it, but I didn't end up seeing it. So I had to look it up again and see if we can find it. He's such an interesting, uh, he's an interesting fellow, that's for sure. Um, let me see. But yeah, so pretty much I'm going to be going to Washington. Um, and 
I'm really excited to be honest. It's really it's exciting. Although it will be raining a lot. It will be raining a lot. So I am a hundred percent gonna be in my cozy little sweater. And my many, many different sweater dresses and sweaters and skirts and honeys too. I have to be really bundled up because I am a Californian and that means that we <laughs> we're not used to really cold weather. <laughs> but at the same time, like I actually do like cold weather. I do. But if my neck is not protected, I get sick really easily. Like I get a cold really easily. My 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 feetsies always had to be protected. My feetsies have to be protected. And my neck has to be protected, right? That's just how it is, okay? My feetsies have to be protected and warm. And my neck has to be protected and warm for me not to um, get a cold. I guess it's because like the feet um, and the neck are um, very sensitive to the cold. You, you can get like you can get cold from both of those areas very easily. <laughs> Booba is protected. Don't worry, the Booba has its own warm like it has its own insulator. You know, it keeps itself very warm. Oh, thank you. Um, Raging Machine, welcome. Thank you for joining with Prime. Booba forever warm. Booba is very warm, I promise you. Thank you, um, um, Z, um, Z, uh, V, thank you. So I'm going to make sure to get a really nice scarf. To be honest, I might be getting a, sn um, a snarf. <laughs> I'm going to be getting a scarf as a souvenir. I think so. From um, Seattle. And coffee! Coffee! Coffee, 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 coffee! Don't you guys know Seattle is known to be like the hum of coffee in the, US in the USA. It's also where Starbucks was first... Um, created it's like cannot wait to go to the very first starbucks ever that's like on my goal list like that's on my i have to go there i just have to and i have to find really nice oh i'm gonna have i'm gonna have so much caffeine even though i'm like kind of like i promised myself i'd uh chill on the caffeine but i have been like caffeine chilled out for like a month or two <laughs> caffeine chilled out meaning that like i have been chilling like sometimes rarely like maybe only two times a week i'll have like some coffee but I used to have it every day it was like i was obsessed with it <laughs> but when i go to seattle i will i will enjoy my coffee i will enjoy my coffee up to two times a day i will i will limit myself two times a day but i will be enjoying it and i'm gonna be on the lookout for um <laughs> And I mean, look out! I'm gonna be on the lookout for super good, high quality coffee beans, whole, whole coffee beans, not, not grinding, not grinding, whole, because I'm gonna, I'm gonna clearly, clearly mm -hmm, smuggle some into my luggage, <laughs> quote unquote, some. <laughs> if it's really good coffee, you best bet your butt I will. I love coffee. And I am a coffee um, fiend for high quality um, beans. That's why when I go to Santo Domingo, uh, Santo Domingo has really good coffee beans as well. They're um, surprisingly good coffee. So I'm bringing an extra luggage just so I can smuggle like a bunch of um, coffee bean bags. Because like the coffee they have over there, I don't know, it's just really good. I really love it. <laughs> They also have good, um, te de anis. They have good, um, um, teas that are like, um, te de anis is like, I don't know how to say it, anis in English. It's like that, that little brown star thing that you see sometimes that people cook with. I don't know what it's called in English, but they have really good tea that's like in that form from that. My coffee, Dominican coffee is based. Yes, it's amazing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna smuggle so much. <laughs> I'm gonna smuggle so much. <laughs> and no one can stop me. It's gonna last me for the next like two years. 
imagine like people like literally like opening my luggage and seeing that it's just like it's just like completely layered with coffee <laughs> coffee beans they can't tell me no <laughs> They can't tell me no coffee beans are not a living object, okay? I'm not smuggling freaking parents. Or salamanders. They can't tell me no. Steal the Dominican coffee, yes. Milky is a coffee smuggler. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, I am. No one can put me in jail for that because it's not stealing. I'm just smuggling. <laughs> Oh my god, that's funny. Oh my god. Uh, the air the airport security opening up a suitcase to see it fill it to the brim with coffee beans. <laughs> they can't tell me no. Can't tell me no. They also have really good jams over there. I love their jams because they're like they're just really natural and not super preservative based, like over here in the USA. Their jams are so good. They have like this apricot jam that I had when I was over there and I fell in love and I was like, what the hell is this? It's so good. Yeah, so I'm I'm excited. I'm really, really excited. Um, we're gonna be looking at some Seattle videos to see what's like really popular to do in Seattle. I won't, um, I might be um, tying up two days depending with my friends, but I did tell them that um, I might leave a couple of times to see, like, uh, go around by myself, I guess. I know that, uh, you know, one may think it's dangerous, but I'll be alright, I'll be alright. <laughs> I'll be alright, I'll, I'll carry my pepper spray, my taser. Wait, I can actually, I forgot I can take that on the flight. Um, well, I'll, I'll just buy some over there. <laughs> I'll just buy pepper spray over there, it's fine. It's just a precaution is all. No, no one will kidnap me. Don't, they won't dare to kidnap me. They will not dare. You, do you see how thick I am? Do you see how thick I am? I am, I am thick, okay? I will use, I will use my, my meaniness and, and, uh, hi -ya, hi -ya, psh, hi -ya, psh. <laughs> I'll be alright, I'll be alright. I'm pretty sure I'll be okay. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I'll be alright. <laughs> cow is armed and dangerous. That's right. Have you ever been kicked by a cow before? Do you know if a human gets kicked by a cow, they, they can they can just completely go be sent into a coma? Don't mess with the cow, right? Yeah, cow kicks are um very 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 powerful. Like I've seen um I I think there's um yeah, they have a really strong kick, that's all. Just like a horse, but horses have it stronger, I think so. A cow kick can blind you? What? Damn, I didn't know that. I know it can cause like trauma to your head, but I didn't know it can blind you. I am just hydrating. <laughs> I feel like this cow is too princess to kick. That's not true. I'm very tomboy, okay? I'm extremely tomboy. I'm like a girly girl on the outside, but I'm a tomboy in the inside a little bit. Um, I just get a little shy kicking too high because like I wear dresses and skirts most of the time, not leggings. I do wear leggings to the airport though because it's nicer, it's more comfy. I'm willing to be kicked by Milky's me. I'm sure you are, Shrimper. I'm sure you are. <laughs> I'm sure you want to be. Tomboys gotta love them, yeah. I'm like a little I'm like um I'm like a a wolf in sheep's clothing, I guess you can say, in the sense that I'm a, I'm a tomboy in in a cute girly clothing, <laughs> because I'm very I'm very like um, let me see like my my kind of um, my kind of style that I love to do is like I love to wear 
sweaters and skirts and cardigans, blouses, skirts and cardigans, um, sweater dresses, cardigans, cardigan, cardigan, cardigan. <laughs> I have so many, so many knit ones as well. <laughs> you can never catch me without one. That's why, um, um, when I, whenever I show you guys, um, you know, Milky, Milky, uh, Milky, um, 3.0, um, in the future, you, you'll see that she has a cardigan. <laughs> and I love cardigans that are, um, short sleeve, long sleeve, mid sleeve, over size long sleeve like you know like where where they flop over so i have cardigans of all styles and all all types i think my favorite one that i have right now is my totoro one i really like my totoro one it's so cute hi hi dude um hi dude i hope you're doing well What's a cardigan? You don't know what a cardigan is? Hello? You don't know? No. Tell me you're lying, bad. Tell me you're lying. You don't know what a cardigan is? Everyone knows what that is. But okay, I guess. Here, give me a moment. Give me a moment. Let me, let me, let me, let me share. Let me share. <laughs> All right, here's the card again. Um, here's a really cute card again. There's so many different ones. They come in all types and shapes and sizes and lengths and everything. <laughs> here, I'll show you one right here. But um, so if you ever see a girl wearing one of these, it's called a cardigan, right? Guys wear them too, actually. What am I talking about? You guys wear them too, have you? You probably just never even known. This is a cardigan right here. That's a cardigan. At least one for girls. <laughs> Not entirely sure what's like a guyish one. Yeah, they're cute, right? Oh, the MILF sweater. <laughs> hey! Although I will say this one is so cute, I kind of want it. I don't know if it's on sale, but I want it. It's adorable. Some people will say they're like granny-like, but they're not They're not granny-like, okay? Jeez. Here's another cardigan right here. See, they, they come in all types of shapes. See, this one has like really, really oversized sleeves. It's really cute. It's also bigger, like it goes to um, her hips. There are types that go to the hips. There's types that go midway and there's types that go like just just co covering like um, the booba. They come in all types of um, materials too, not just knit. But they're very, very cozy and they're very cozy. We need a milky cardigan chai. Um, I know, I don't know if guys, wait, are there male cardi cardigans? Let me see, male cardigan. <clears throat> oh yeah, there are. See, here's one, here's one. I don't know if you guys would ever wear this, but. <laughs> um, maybe I might ask in chat if anyone would ever wear this. Oh my god, you know, like, honestly, it's not, it's not really, like, some people might say you, you kind of look like a, a dad, like it's dad wear. I don't think it's dad wear. I think it looks good on every guy. It's not, it's not dad wear, right? It's not. Here's one right here for guys. Like, would you guys wear one of these or no? They're really comfy. Look how comfy they are. Dad wear. <laughs> That's hot. I know. It is. You should wear one. That's dad wear. Stop it. It's not. <laughs> it's not dad wear. It's really nice for the winter time. 
this entire like this setup like this setup would, would look really good on you a daddy wear <laughs> it's not besides um nothing wrong with being a little you know um uh, you know nothing wrong with being daddy here's another one right here here's another one i'm only showing two like two of each one See, this is also a cardigan. See, this is a cardigan. <laughs> There's just so many different types and stuff like that. It's not dad wear, it's not. I will feel 20 years older if I wore that, but it still looks neat. <laughs> Wait, does that make me 20 years older if I wear one? Does that make me 20 years older if I wear one? Oh, no. No. Don't say that. No, because cardigans are woman core. All right, fine. They're woman core. Fine. I think they can look good on a guy. Like. I think it just depends on what you're wearing with it, you know? I'm not guilty ways. What the fuck? I am not. Don't you dare say that ever again. I am young, okay? I might be a hag, but I'm I'm barely there, right? I'm 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 barely in the stage of transcending from not being hag into hag. I'm only 30. I'm only 30 eyes. Can't blame you. Can't blame you. No. 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 <laughs> we love our mature beef. Hey, I'm not a beef. I'm not beef. How dare you call me that? Don't say that. I'll also eat myself. <laughs> What's wrong with you? You're so uncontrollable today. <laughs> I'm still making my wife good. Now that's what I want to hear. Prime age beef? Um, <clears throat> definitely not me. I'm not beef that you can consume, right? You'll age. You know, you just, like fine wine, so it's all good. You're right. Imagine me in 10 years when I finally reach 40. Oh my, how much more mature my voice will be. <laughs> I think then I probably will have more um, kind of super milfy model. Even milfier than now. But for now, I still want to enjoy my youth. I, I still haven't. <laughs> you only age like fine wine, my dear. Thank you. Mm, not for consumption, but why are you here looking like a snack? Honey, I'm an entire meal. Not just snack. But you sure are looking like a snack. <laughs> 31 is the new 21? Yes, I agree. Do you prefer Milfy or Gilfy? Obviously, Milfy will be better. An entire five course meal? Yes, yes, with the dessert at the very end. You know what I mean. <laughs> anyway, anyway, anyway. I'm really excited. Um, I guess I'm gonna. I'm not sure what to get for myself as a souvenir over there, besides possibly like. A really pretty knit scarf. I think it would be really nice. Like a handmade knit scarf would be really nice. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my god. Oh 
on Rhinos. Thank you so much for the 25 25 months. I'm stream string. I need the And Snowman, thank you for the seven stream string. Oh, thank you. You guys are so sweet. I love you. <laughs> Not the but the ones who say grandma, uh-uh. Not grandma. Not. I'm gonna hide you real quick, guys. All right, we're gonna be watching some travel videos. Everyone, today is going to be a bit of a shorter stream than usual. I will have to leave um in about two hours from now because I have appointments to do my nails, a facial, um, not cut my hair, but um, have my hair like um have the ends of my hair you know like um kind of like uh trimmed and styled and stuff like that because you have to take care of your hair right so i have a really really and i have to pack my luggage i have to pack my luggage and i definitely don't want to leave that last minute so i have a really busy day today so i know that i won't be streaming as long as uh, i usually do but i hope that you know no matter what we'll you're, you're still gonna have a good time here We'll still have fun. Don't cut your beautiful hair. No, I'm not cutting it. I'm, I'm. It's called, it's called trimming. It's like, it's like when you get rid of like the split ends and stuff like that. That naturally do happen. And styling is nice. I love to style my hair. Hey, I'm a girl. What do you, what do you want from me? We love our pedicures and our manicures. <laughs> our facials. She's going bald. No, I'm not. <laughs> Never. Never. I love my hair. Can I have the hair you cut off asking for a friend? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you may not. No, you may not. How do I know you're not going to do a voodoo doll or something like that? A voodoo doll. And then make the voodoo doll do whatever you want her to do. No, no, no. That's not happening. No, I'm not giving any of my hair away. She's on to me, guys. Yes, I'm on to you. I'm on to you, Mo. By the way, in Seattle, they have some forest trails that I'm kind of excited to hopefully go to. <laughs> if it's not raining too hard. Because I looked at the weather and it definitely said that there will be showers. With a high percentage percentage of rain. High meaning like 60%, which is pretty high. So I'm gonna definitely have to bundle up a lot to be extra warm. I have to be or else Cal would catch a cold because I'm very I'm very sens sensible to the cold change. Even more than to flus, I'm more sensible to the change of like weathers and stuff like that. So I hope I don't get I hope I don't catch a cold or anything like that. I'll make sure to take lots of vitamin C. <laughs> and keep myself nice and warm too. Alright, alright, alright. Okay, okay. Let's um let's watch some travel videos, everyone. Just give me a moment to set everything up. Beer bee!